It's a case that rattled the small, quiet community of Pawpaw, West Virginia, 32 years ago. It baffled investigators then as much as it does today. The last um, location that we have confirmed would have been the high store in Pawpaw. On the night of October 24, 1987, Melissa Moreland was last seen here at a gas station on Winchester Street. The different wells, different properties, different things, trying to locate the body of, of Melissa Moreland. Morgan County Sheriff Casey Bohr says while there were many suspects, none of them have been charged. There's still no idea what happened to 21-year-old Melissa Moreland. Sometimes one questions whether or not all those interviews were truthful or not. She would you know, go places frequently. She didn't stay at her family's house all the time. So it wasn't immediately apparent that she was missing. Captain Timothy Stapleton began digging for new leads. Sheriff Board joined the effort in 2014. Investigators say Moreland's DNA, along with dental records, are entered into a special database used to crack cold cases. The good thing about that is over the years, especially if bodies were found in 87, 88, 89 throughout the country that could be related to this, it may take time for cold case investigators to go back through and pull DNA because that wasn't something they did in those years. Someone who has been interviewed or someone who has spoken to knows what happened to Missy Moreland. She was a sociable girl said to have lived a happy life. I mean, I would have liked to have found her her body or you know what's left of, of her body um, to give some type of closure to her family. That's that's uh, that's one of the things that I was aiming on you know to do. Reporting for WDBM's Cold Case Investigations, I'm Tao Tao.